Welcome to another great report. It's so encouraging to be into our second month of school already. We love having kids back on campus, hearing their voices around campus as they're playing and laughing and learning. They're such a joy to have. We're also looking forward to Grandparents Chapel just around the corner. It's a week of grandparents events where we're gonna honor grandparents and thank them for who they are, what they've done in our lives. And so you'll see information about that provided. In our last great report, I shared with you our mission statement. And in this great report, I wanna share our vision statement with you and then hand it off to a really cool testimony from one of our teachers and their students. Our vision statement says, partnering with parents to provide an exceptional and comprehensive, biblically integrated education to equip students to excel, to impact their world for the glory of Christ, fulfilling God's purpose for their lives. And what I'm really excited is for you to see the testimony to follow and to see how a teacher had the opportunity to share the gospel with one of their students last year and how this student prayed and made Jesus their personal Lord and Savior. We hope you're encouraged by this. This is one of many examples of the exciting things and encouraging things that we get to see on campus. And one of the things that motivates us to continue on to invest in kids uh, in Christian education. So blessings to you, enjoy this video. My name is Leslie Sear, and I'm a third grade teacher here at Desert Christian Schools. And this is? My name is Kenneth Carpenter. I was in Ms. Sears class, and now I'm going into fourth grade. God brought me here to be a teacher. Uh, in general, I never wanted to be a teacher growing up, but God had different plans. I actually attended here from the time I was six all the way to graduation, and I was uh, almost a lifer. Missed it by one year. I went and I taught um, in lots of different schools, and then he brought me back here for first grade a couple years ago, and then moved me to third grade, and I believe it was absolutely his plan to do that. I was supposed to be a third grade teacher last year. I made very good best friends here. This year prayed with me when I needed it, and Miss Maria prayed with me when I needed it. Jenin, why did you decide to give your life to Jesus? Because so, uh, you were doing Bible, and then there was this really good story, and then it, it technically teached me why I should, should put my faith in God. Do you remember that day it was snowing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, there was a bunch of kids that prayed in the snow. I don't know if you were, I think you were the, one of the first ones and we prayed in that room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Was it a hard prayer? No. No, it was easy, huh? Uh-huh. But hard to do, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so proud of you, bud. <laughs> 